Here in the U.S. alone, over 16 million adults have experienced at least one major depressive episode in the last year. Of these, around 30% do not respond to standard treatments like medication or therapy. Rhonda this morning tells us what that means and what's being done to help patients have a happier, more fulfilling life. About 4.8 million people are dealing with treatment-resistant depression, a condition that can significantly impact their quality of life. Now researchers are finding new ways to provide hope for a brighter future. Creating colorful artwork helped 69-year-old Christy Hart control some pretty dark thoughts that she struggled with for most of her life. I can remember my senior year of high school being extremely depressed. At 40, the depression again became overwhelming. I got Prozac, and it was like somebody took a paper bag off my head and the world existed outside. Then in her 60s, health issues combined with the pandemic food. sent her spiraling again. I didn't take pleasure in much anymore. Already taking the antidepressant effects or Christy found out about a groundbreaking study at Washington University School of Medicine. The worst news about it is we usually don't know in advance that someone's depression is going to be treatment resistant. It, we still in this day and age use a trial and error approach. Psychiatrist Eric Lenz found that adding the antipsychotic medication aripiprazole can help. The underlying idea is if you take two uh, antidepressants from different classes, uh, you may have a higher chance uh, of getting better from depression. Dr. Lynn says 30% of the treatment resistant patients finally found relief. It was a pretty remarkable change really quickly. Christy now uses another drug called bupropion along with the effects or and says it's changed her life. Being happy is a nice thing, you know, more energy less sleeping. People don't realize what depression does until you start to get help. She definitely agrees with Dr. Lenz. Just because it's been called treatment resistant doesn't mean give up hope. The problem is especially difficult in older adults, many of whom are already taking several medications for other conditions like high blood pressure, cardiac issues, or diabetes.